So you want to hit big jumps, but you got to control your speed going into them. You don't want to go too slow and you don't want to go too fast. So we're going to talk about speed checking into a jump. Someone asked me about this in a comment. I was like, that is the raddest idea for a video. So the biggest thing is I want to talk to you about setup turns and speed checking before we even get to the jump, because there's a big difference. You can have setup turns and not lose speed. And then you have your speed checks, which are designed to take speed down. So then you don't go too deep on the jump. So what does that look like? Well, a setup turn is going to be a very clean kind of just going from edge to edge, not taking speed off. It looks like this. Where speed checks will look like this. Do you see the difference? One, you're staying on your edge and you're kind of charging. You are changing from one edge to the other. The other one, you're literally stopping. You're slowing down. You're taking away speed. So that's the difference between a setup turn and a speed check. Now, when we roll up to a jump, it's always nice to kind of wait around and watch somebody else hit the jump if you haven't hit it yet. That way you kind of know the speed. But that's why it's important we know the difference between speed checks and setup turns because you could watch someone that does three setup turns and you think he did three checks and then you take three checks and then you land a whole board short. That's that's why we talked about. Now, the way I like to think about jumps and setup turns and checks and everything is in the setup turn, there's a perfect time to take off the speed. So let's say I'm gonna do a backside 360. I'm gonna jump and spin off my toes. That means I wanna drop in on my toes, set up to my heels. When I'm on my heel side edge, that's when I'll take off any speed that I need to. And then as I go up the wedge, I'm gonna transition to my toes and I'm gonna be ready to spin. It should look like this. So I'm on my toes, I'm coming down, okay? Take a little speed off, toes, spin, oh. Okay, so same thing with your front side 360s. We spin off our heels, so we're gonna drop on our heels, go to our toes when we're on our toes. That's when we wanna take off any speed if we need to, transition to our heels, send the 360. So I'll drop on my heels, so I'm headed down, go to my toes. Now that dropping in and taking speed off on your second turn and then setting up for the jump, you can take that thought process to straight airs, to flips, anything like that. That's how I break down my speed into jumps. I'm not saying it's the best way to do it. If you have a better way, obviously please fill that in in the comments, help people get better at snowboarding park. And I hope this video did help you. If it did, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Sag and Evolution Stickers supports the dream. And as always, thank you so much for shredding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It's daily on this channel. We do stuff like this. Damn!